Good morning. Merry Christmas and welcome to the Historic Church of St. Patrick. Our celebrant this morning is Father Rudy Schwarzkopf, assisted by Deacon Dave Smith. Please join us in singing our opening hymn, O Come, All Ye Faithful, which can be found inside the worship aid. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Merry Christmas. So everything that we've been building on for the last four weeks came to fruition last night, or early this morning, however you want to judge, <clears throat> you know, midnight mass. It's fair. So we get the kind of replay this morning of what some of us celebrated <clears throat> yesterday. But that joy, that very real sense of showing us how beautiful our humanity is, is seen in that crash. The very fact that God empties out God's self takes on our humanity to very clearly say to us, I love you above everything else in this world. And I desire you to return back to me. So much that I'm going to become a human, just like all of you. And that very real sign of God's love, experienced there, but also experienced here in the Eucharist. But we also know that there are times in our life where we reject that beautiful gift of God's love. We become selfish. We become self-centered. We push God and God's love aside. So let's recall some of those times that we've not truly been present to God, ourselves, and to one another, and ask for pardon and for peace. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace who brings light and life to the ends of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the light of the world who brings an end to sin and death. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God who brings salvation to your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. And together let us say glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of human nature 
and still more wonderfully restored it. Grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark the sentinels raise a cry, together they shout for joy. They see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord comforts his people, he redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God, the word of the Lord. listen. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into Song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. 
Sing praise to the Lord with the harp. With the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son, whom he made heir of all things, and through whom he created the universe, who is the refulgence of his glory, the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life. And this life was the light of the human race, the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. True light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name were born, not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. 
the gospel of the Lord. So John's gospel, as I've been told, is beautiful in the original Greek. In the English, it's tough. Because the words and the verbiage and all the pieces that kind of come with it, you find yourself kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you're not really sure what is actually kind of transpiring there. But the most important pieces, as over the course of the last day and then today, we get the infancy narratives. There's only three. Mark doesn't have an infancy narrative. So we had Matthew's version at the six o'clock here. We had Luke's version of the nativity last night at the midnight. And now we have John. So, Matthew, very much, very Jewish, only comes through Joseph's voice. We only get Joseph. We hear nothing from Mary, specifically from Joseph, from his perspective. Luke's version last night comes through the feminine voice, the voice that is often suppressed, the voice that is often held down, because again, Luke's Jesus is all about the outsider being brought in, raised up. John has a completely different plan. Instead of having an infancy narrative as in terms of like the nativity or other pieces, he goes all the way back to creation, saying this plan has been in place from the very beginning, that creative word of God that kind of proceeds from the Father. takes on human flesh, the perfect reflection of God's will. Taking on human flesh to show us how beautiful we are. Do we make mistakes constantly, frequently, all the time? And yet I always kind of lean back into what Francis de Sales would often say. He's like, if it wasn't so detrimental to the person's soul, I would tell people to go sin. Because it's on the other side of that. When we do acknowledge that and truly get hit with that love, mercy, compassion of God, Eyes never full of anger. Eyes never full of upset. Only love. The same eyes in Mary and Joseph. In that very moment that Christ is born into the world, those very same eyes full of love, hope. The same eyes God looks at us with. That's what we celebrate now. The very fact that our humanity has been dusted off, loved above everything else in this world. So much so, That, yeah, takes on our humanity and everything that comes with it, except for sin, of course. But everything else, absolutely. The joy we experience today are the same kind of joys we experience in our lives. But again, is not 
the whole breadth of humanity seen in the life of Christ. The joy of this, the grief, the sorrow of the cross to the other side of Easter morning, where love conquers even death. That same love that calls out to us in our successes and in our failures. That same call to return. Come back. Come back to me. I'm going to love you throughout it all. Is that not a great example of human pride to go, I've done something so bad that even God can't forgive. Believe me, people have tried. So you must have done something that millions and billions of people have not figured out yet. Well done. And yet, that's a lie. That love of God, that love here for us is the same love expressed there, is the same love that we will experience in the Eucharist. From myself, Monsignor Chris, Deacon Dave, everybody here at Historic, everybody over at Immaculate. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Hopefully somewhat relaxing. And we'll see you back here next week because, you know, what better way to start the new year? <clears throat> May God be blessed. Let us stand now and profess our shared and common faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I think that's one that's in the book. Yeah, good enough. <coughs> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Turning now in confidence and love, we bring our prayers and our petitions for ourselves, our community, and our whole world. For the church, that Jesus may be ever born in our hearts, prompting us to see him in our neighbor, leading us to works of mercy and generosity, we pray to the Lord. That the glad tidings of peace sung by angels may come to pass from war torn areas of the world to the areas of our own country troubled by violence. We pray to the Lord. For those without a warm, comfortable home, that they may find shelter in a place that is safe and welcoming. Atenar Eslin. Atenar Eslin Rosta. For those who are visitors, that is Gaelic for what we've just said, the first three. For those grieving the loss or illness of a loved one and finding this season especially difficult, that, that they may find hope and consolation in God's tender care, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our 
that every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we are aware of God's magnificent gift of our Savior and Redeemer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jack, Rosemary, and Jim McHugh, Karen Bates, Bill, and Dorothy Thompson, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, you know us and you love us. Hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. Change our hearts and our minds so that they match your will. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. we have heard on high sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains Inspire your heavenly song, Gloria. In excelsis Deo, Adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. Gloria in excelsis day. Excelsis Deo. 
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us wholly pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through him the holy exchange that it restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, and all the people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, our sister church, his immaculate conception, St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we desire to forgive but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
go. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, O oh, hear the angel voice says, O oh, night divine, O oh, night, when Christ was born. Let us pray.
Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world born this day is the author of divine generation for us, so he may be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. No announcements? There's, that is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Take a bulletin home um, with you to find out what's going on around the parish. As I said in the homily, <clears throat> what better way to start the New Year's than Mass? So, you know, we'll see you then. I won't be here. I'll be at the other place. So, you got the big boss to deal with. So, enjoy that. And once again, from everybody here at Historic St. Patrick and Immaculate Conception, may you have a wonderful, blessed, and relaxing, theoretically, Christmas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the winds be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May God bless all of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, Cast down to hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive. sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing thank you thanks everybody